Welcome back to CryptoJet for a quick Polkadot analysis. Now, what we're looking at is the chart of Polkadot or DOT. Everyone has heard of this coin. It's uh, quite high in the top 20 coins on the market and uh, it's quite an important one as well. So what Polkadot actually does is connect other chains. So they have these parachains and basically it's the one of the largest networks that allows for interoperability, which means it allows some networks to work with other blockchain networks as well. Why is this important? Well, because at some point you're going to need to connect all these networks and make a more seamless experience for users and people around the world. So for example, if you're moving from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain, uh, it will be incredibly difficult and costly to move your money from one to the other, right? You can always exchange your coins, but if you're staking or something, it's going to be quite difficult. So Polkadot has, has everything and the fundamentals are very sound. Now, I'm very confused as to why the price is currently dropping. I mean, the whole market is in sort of a retracement and Polkadot is one of the larger coins, but I do expect somewhat of a, you know, retracement towards the upside before potentially moving more down. But we do have this important area of value around the $27 mark, which was respected multiple times in the past. So right here, you can see it was respected as a support level. Right here, it was respected as a resistance. So as a support level, it means price was not allowed to go beneath this level, meaning that buyers in the market are supporting the price from below. So whenever you have a support, it means the price is being supported from below. Whenever you have a resistance, like right here, you see sellers not allowing to price to actually move beyond this area. So when you have an area like that, you call it an area of resistance. And uh, we have another support right here. So in the worst case, we see Polkadot moving into the $27 mark, something along the lines of this before uh, moving towards more upside once again, right? And breaching the previous all time high for the last push of the bull run. However, if we do see, um, you know, a movement upwards from now, it would not be confusing to me at all because I believe we are sitting on FIB levels at this point. So we are respecting the 78% FIB level, which is completely fine because as you can see in the previous push towards the upside, we did not respect FIB levels at all. So actually we did, but we didn't go that far, make that far of a retracement. Now we did retrace a little bit further, but it's probably because people haven't taken profits in a while. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to Polkadot. Now, a few other things I wanted to show you is, first of all, if one Bitcoin appeared in your Binance account, what would you do with it? So that's a question that I want you to answer down in the comments below. Please do that before, uh, you know, I end the video. And next up, if you want to learn how to analyze the charts like I do and uh, everything about technical analysis, the best place to start is Forex trading. And the best place to start that is on baby pips. So you're going to learn a lot about how Forex actually works. And it's knowledge that you can apply very easily to crypto stocks, indices, and a lot of other things in the market. So highly recommend these guys take a look. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this quick video today. Um, when it comes to Polkadot, I would currently, uh, I would probably stay away because it is looking slightly bearish at the moment. However, on the lower time frames, we seem to be making somewhat of a reversal. Now, if we're going to be moving bullish once again, I would need this previous lower high to be broken out of before confirming that the price will move towards a more upside. So something along the lines of this, a retracement and respect of the previous level of resistance, and then a further move towards a more upside. So thanks for watching another video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Leave a like on, uh, you know, everything. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.